that tragic school shooting in Texas, renewing debate over gun control and school safety. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco is live in studio with reaction from Virginia lawmakers. And Jackie, what are they saying tonight? Yeah, well, lawmakers on both sides here are calling this an evil act and, of course, sending prayers to those who were impacted. But unsurprisingly, they're split on how to respond. Today, a push to turn pain into action. At least 19 children and two teachers. The death toll from a mass shooting at an elementary school in Uvalde, Texas. Now triggering renewed calls for gun control in Congress. But legislation faces an uphill battle, says U.S. Senator Tim Kaine. The shootings are bad enough, but what really makes it sting is the realization that Congress has done nothing. I mean, te Virginia Tech shooting was 15 years ago. Every Republican representing Virginia and D.C. declining our interview request on Wednesday. Back home at the state capitol, Democrats in the General Assembly passing a red flag law, expanding background checks, and prohibiting guns in school buildings in 2020. That same year, failing to advance a ban on the new sale of assault weapons in Virginia, something State Senator Jennifer McClellan is still pushing for. The measures that we have in place um, make it harder for there to be a mass shooting in Virginia, but there's more that we can do. More restrictions, likely a non-starter under new Republican leadership in Virginia. Lieutenant Governor Winsome Sears facing backlash for plans to speak at an NRA event in Texas just later this week, but declining an interview with us today. Meantime, many Republicans focusing on furthering school safety. Still 705 Virginia schools, or 38 percent, do not have a school resource officer. According to one lawmaker, Youngkin's push to put one in every building watered down. A disappointment for Republican Senator Bill DeStef. If we don't fund a school resource officer in every single school, it's not enough. Now, Governor Youngkin also declining our interview request today, but a spokesperson saying Youngkin asked for an additional $50 million in the state budget for school resource officer grants. He hopes lawmakers will prioritize that request in a deal that could get a vote as early as July 1. Live in the studio, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News. Thanks, Jackie. And we are, of course, continuing to follow this mass shooting and the impact across the country and here in Central Virginia. Stay with us on air and online at WRIC.com or on our app for all the latest details.